While most of us shoot with a tripod most of the time, sometimes you can't, and often footage shot without a tripod contains distracting motion. Recently, I reviewed ProDad Mercalli, an image stabilization tool for Event DV. I found the product extremely easy to use, fast, and very effective. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to Mercalli, then illustrate Mercalli's simple workflow and show you some additional results, and conclude with a comparison with other tools, including SteadyMove, After Effects, and Apple SmoothCam. Let's have a quick look at Mercalli. Mercalli is another product from ProDad, who brought us Heroglyph, VitaScene, Adirage, and Mercalli. Though I'll be using the product in Adobe Premiere Pro, it's available for a range of products, including After Effects 7.0 and CS3, Avid Liquid 7, these versions of Canopus Edius, versions 7 and 8 of Sony Vegas, and Pinnacle Studio. While you'll select and apply the filter differently in each program, using the filter, as I describe in this tutorial, works similarly with all programs. Mercalli costs $119 direct and runs on Windows 2000, XP, Server 2003, XP64, and Vista. There's also a light version available for $59 that offers the same high-level feature set but less configurability. I recommend the full version, but most of what you see in this tutorial is available on both versions. Now that you've been introduced to Mercalli, let's have a look at the workflow. Mercalli has a very simple workflow with five steps. First is choosing a profile. With Mercalli, the key to producing high-quality results is to choose the right profile. Fortunately, Mercalli makes this simple with easy-to-understand descriptions and useful feedback during the analysis phase. I've used these test files for years to test image stabilization filters. With other products, I had to apply a general setting and hope for the best. With Mercalli, there are obvious profiles for each. For example, on this Bridal 180, I can choose Shoulder Cam, Improve Camera Panning with Tilt Correction. For this Worst Case Parade video, I can select Shoulder Cam, Reduce Walking Movement. For this bus shot, I can choose In Practice, Smooth Tracking Shot from a Bumpy Car Drive. And for this concert footage, I can use two settings. I had to start shooting before I reached a stable position, so I have about five seconds of terrible footage. I'll use Rescue, Smooth, Highly Shook, or Jittery Record there. Once I got situated, the camera was much more stable and needs less correction. For the remainder, I'll use Shoulder Cam, Improve Camera Zoom. These context-specific settings really point you towards the best profile, which helps you efficiently produce the best results. Now let's look at border options. All image stabilization routines shift the frame around to compensate for motion in the footage. You can see that here in this bus video, with black edges showing where Mercalli adjusted the frame position. You probably don't want those black edges showing, and Mercalli gives you multiple options. I almost always use Without Border, which zooms into the frame as much as necessary to ensure that none of the borders show in any frames in the video. Let me toggle the effect on and off and you can see what I mean. With the filter on, Mercalli zooms in to stabilize the footage and eliminate the border. With the filter off, the video zooms back out. Alternatively, you can choose Dynamic Border, which doesn't zoom in but creates the border you saw a moment ago. It's dynamic because it changes from frame to frame. If you click this checkbox, Mercalli fills in the border with adjacent colors. Alternatively, you can choose Static Border, which creates one border that works for the entire video. That's the black frame you see here, which again, you can fill in by choosing this checkbox. My concern is that my clients won't know what this border is. For this reason, I almost always use Without Border. Now let's look at the Compare View, which is how you preview the effect in your editor. Mercalli offers three options, Final Result, which shows only the adjusted video. That's what you've seen so far. Also available is Horizontal Split Screen, which shows the stabilized video on the right and original on the left. Or Vertical Split Screen, which shows the original on top and stabilized video on the bottom. Nothing magical here, just choose the preview that works best with your footage. And remember to return the control to Final Result before producing, or Mercalli will render that split screen view into your final production. Now let's look at the analysis stage, which provides useful diagnostic information. Let's look at this parade video, which is the most extreme. If I use Shoulder Cam, reduce walking movement, and click OK, Mercalli analyzes the clip. It's very fast, and you can see the status bar on the right stays in the green. This tells you that your setting matches the footage and that you should produce a good result. On the other hand, suppose you chose Simulate Tripod. 
When you click OK, you can see the status bar jumps into the red, which tells you that the match is bad. This can result in distorted footage, unnecessarily extreme zooms, and if the match is bad enough, this information screen. If you choose the right profile, however, you'll almost always move to the preview stage. That's the original on the left, Mercalli on the right. Much smoother on the right. Let's look at some other examples. Here's our Bridal 180. Still not my best shot, but much, much smoother. Here's our bus clip. Let me check the settings. Now let's preview. Again, much smoother. Let's look at the first band clip. Here I'm looking for a practically stationary look. Let's preview and look at the difference. Finally, let's look at our second band footage, which was the total rescue job. Much, much better. Again, the specific descriptions in the profiles not only makes the product easy to use, they help ensure a high quality result. And as you can see, operation is both efficient and fast. Now let's briefly look at competitive products, which generally offer fewer and less specific controls. For example, here's the SteadyMove plugin that shipped with Premiere Pro 2.0, but now costs $499. As you can see, there are only two controls, smoothing and max correction, with no context-specific guidance. If the results aren't to your liking, you're flying blind, and there is no split-screen preview to help your parameter selection. Though Final Cut Pro's new Smooth Cam feature has five controls, there are no context-specific settings. Analysis is extremely slow, and again, there's no split-screen preview. After Effects has a good motion tracking stabilization feature, but it often requires time-consuming manual adjustments. On a two or three minute clip, making these manual adjustments can easily take a few hours, and you have to manually zoom in to hide the edges, which is automatic in Mercalli. Even if you have After Effects, you'll be much more efficient with Mercalli, which you can even use as an After Effects plugin. Okay, let's summarize. Mercalli's context-specific profiles make it fast and easy to choose the best profile for your source footage. You spend less time searching for the right controls and apply the optimal settings to your source video. The result is high-quality output with an easy-to-understand and efficient workflow. This makes Mercalli an excellent tool for professional and amateur videographers.